Are you looking to add some visuals to your online content? You need animated GIFs, but finding the best GIF or creating your own can be time-consuming. We've tested many of these tools, and here are some of the best free AI GIF generators and GIF editor to get the best results. You can easily make GIFs, with just a few clicks, and share them on different platforms. First, I'll introduce two AI GIF makers, then I'll show you a GIF editor to make your GIF more likely. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create fun and amazing GIFs and use them. Open the hotshot.co website. I put the link in the description. Click sign up with Google. On the home screen, you can see several GIFs created by other users. You can keep the mouse on each one and see the prompt that this GIF made with it. If you click on the image, the image link will be copied and you can share it. If you want to save the GIF, right-click and select Save Image As. To create your own GIF, write what you want here. Type, then press Enter or Go button. You get four results. Click on each one. To download the results, right-click and select Save Image As. If you want to see more results, press Make More. When you press Make More, your previous results will be lost, so save them if you want. You can do this several times to see different results and select the best ones. If you want to share your work, you can press Copy GIF link and share the link with others. Use this AI tool and create fun GIF with it. Open Tensor.art website. You can do many things with this AI. Press Sign In button. You can create 100 images per day, and this is updated daily. Use your Google account, or Discord, or your email and password to sign up. From here, you can see your tokens. To start creating your GIF, click the Create button at the top. Here, you can use text to image, image to image, and animate. To create a GIF, we use the Animate tab. Describe what you want here. You can use Random Prompt, or write your own prompt. Negative Prompt is what you don't want to see in the result. If you move the mouse over here, you can see the negative prompt list that you can copy and use them. Here, select your model to create your GIF with it. You can see different categories. See and test different types. I want to use this one. From here you can select extra features that we don't need for this. You can add motion to your GIF by selecting one of these motions. This option can affect the color performance. Change the aspect ratio from here. You can use custom size. Here, using different items will give you different results. I use this one based on my previous tests. For sampling steps, the recommended range is 10 to 30, and with a higher value, the generation process will be longer. In the free plan, the maximum is up to 25. This option determines the match between the prompt and the result. A higher value makes results more likely to match the prompt. Recommended range is 3 to 15. Seed number can help create different or consistent generations. Same seed makes the same result. If you leave it blank, it will be used randomly. You can use seed number from another generation. Changing the number of frames can affect the number of credits used for this generation. By changing frames per second, you can change the speed of displaying images. The higher the number, the faster it is. Press the Generate button. This part is weird but not bad. You can test with different models and change the settings to get different results. You can download the image from here. Also, you can share it. I create another sample with a different model. Use this tool and create beautiful GIFs. Open Giphy.com website. Here you can search, share, discover and create GIFs and stickers. Press the login button. For the first time, sign up with your email and password. After login, press the create button at the top. Here, you can create and edit GIF files or create stickers. I want to edit this GIF. Press choose file button and select your file. 
Here, you can add text, add stickers, add filters, and change the aspect ratio of your GIFs. You can see stickers in different categories. Like, subscribe, and share your experience with us in the comment. I want to use this effect. Click on it. From here, you can resize it. From here, you can select some options based on your needs. Test different filters, and change the intensity to see different results. From here, you can download the result. Stay tuned for more useful videos. Thanks for watching.